This is my home where I foster little dogs for Yorkshire Terrier National Rescue. They aren't allowed in the front yard alone unless they're on leash and that's in the morning when we go for our morning walk. Come inside. You can hear them. Here's a couple. Oh, uh, here is my dog Scooter. I adopted him five and a half years ago when I first started volunteering for YTNR. He was very high strung and hard to place. I decided I'd just adopt him myself. Since that time, I've had 30 to 40 dogs at one time or another in the house. You can see they like to go in this bay window because they can see what's going on in the world. The little dogs are made to feel at home. Many of them have been found dirty, abused, abandoned, sometimes sick, sometimes injured. I keep the door open for them at all times. So they have access to the backyard, which is small, but there's no escaping it. It's very secure. They have a place to go all day long. Usually when they come here, at first they feel very uncomfortable. But boy, it doesn't seem to take them long to make themselves at home. I try to adjust them to finally knowing what a happy life is in a family and get them accustomed to being socialized with other dogs and with people. We try to help those that are injured with the vet veterinarians that will help out, hopefully, at a discount, sometimes not. Here's a place where they eat. They know what goes on there. And here, everybody knows what's there. It's all doggy stuff. Right, baby? Oh, doggy stuff. Yum, yum. Yes, are you hungry? Are you, baby? <laughs> These dogs would normally be put to sleep. I've had them call me and ask me to pick one up in a hurry from a shelter because they're going to put them down because they're sick. I had one that had ringworm and they didn't want to keep him. When we got him, it took nine weeks to take care of him. You can see in the bedroom, they have their own bed. But they seem to prefer the big bed or the chair. They spend the night usually there because they can protect me and keep the monsters away. This is a home that is so typical, I believe, of what our volunteers do to try and save these little guys and give them the life that they deserve.